yeah, is that to me, there's a lot of things. Nothing. I can, I can just, I can say is nothing can stop you from doing these things. It's my passion. Because the persistent to me is, I have a passion and enthusiasm to these things. So it's kept me keep keep going. Doesn't matter what happened. Uh, it's like I think I'm very lucky. I found what I love to do when I was very very young age. My teammates and I started playing table tennis uh, when I was seven years old. Yeah. We worked very hard in four years. We were getting stronger than any other team in our district. And the same year, we also get a trophy for first place in the area. Just like I thought everything is going great. And a year later, I turned fifth grade. And it was a time for me to compete in the county tournament. But I was out again. Yeah. How could I be out again? I just won the trophy. That's me. I used uh, in the table tennis team, we practice at least five hours a day. And table tennis, we will use a paddle when we play table tennis. Sometimes I will use uh, extra pressure uh, to my arms when I'm trying to do the heavy attack or spin or face up the speed when we hit the ball. But put extra pressure in your arms to do all those things is not is is not the right way to do that. So. Because this extra pressure is make accumulation of assets in my arms. Which means my arms get swollen, get bigger, and the place with accumulation of assets is getting hard and painful. It really makes me want to cut off my arms. Yeah. So uh, I I was out of the game, basically, and what I had been focused of five years was gone, and it was really devastating. I go back, uh, meet with my coach and my teammates, and start apologizing to them because I'm screwing up so badly, badly. I feel like I let them down, let my t uh, teammates and my coach down. After that, I didn't play table tennis for a while and haven't gone into a court for a while. But this time has made me think something just slowly began done on me. I still love table tennis. Oh, <clears throat> all the things in this time, it made me more clear about uh, what I like to do and the passion and enthusiasm is still there. It's never gone, never going away. So I decided to start over and cure my arm for you. There's, <clears throat> I didn't see it then, but it turns out this decision is the bad things that could ever happen to me. Uh, in, in this year, I cure my arms. I also watch uh, a lot of videos to learn skills. And most importantly, I train, I also tap myself uh, so I can see what is the wrong movement I should change. Uh, this, this, this year opened the other chapter of my life. The summer after I finished my application for college, 
I, uh, I broke my paddle and went back to a court. Uh, start my training. Uh, this, uh, I didn't, I didn't go in very well at first because I'm, I was not as strong as I was before. But as long as the practice went, all the things keep coming back to me. And the same year, I also won the table tennis tournament of the freshman. Table tennis of freshman tournament for the first place here in Doha University. And also got a coach up in Hong Kong. I'm trying to say is uh, things would happen for reasons. Sometimes life just hit you in the head with a brick. Uh, but I think this all for test medicine because the patient needed it. Oh. All the things we all the things is because I have the enthusiasm and the passion is never going away. And it keeps me it keeps me going. Doesn't matter what happened. Because I still love, I still have passion and this about table tennis. The only, I think the only way to do the great work is to find your passion in these things or find your enthusiasm about those works. This is the only way to be truly satisfied. If you haven't found it, keep looking. Keep looking until you find it. Don't settle. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. It's so great story, and I think you are really brave and have ambitions to achieve your dream.